Russell Brand is doing the Nala Ray treatment. Nala Ray, she's that OnlyFans thought that is out there, you know, preaching the good word about, you know, Christianity and then keeping her OnlyFans account open. God, it was such a grift, guys. I'm so glad that there was a bunch of you guys that are really praying for her success. But I don't see that same type of love being afforded Russell Brand. It's almost like there's a hypocrisy that's out there. Hmm, strange, right? But Russell Brand reveals that he's been baptized in the Tim's as he turns to Christianity after all of those allegations. Man, we're, what, coming up on six, seven months since all of that stuff came out? And what is manifest off the back of that? Oh, the, he lost his monetization on YouTube. Uh, it exposed how corrupt the UK government really is when it comes to censoring social media free speech. And little else but it popped a couple of ratings for channel 4 the bbc running exposés so that's cool i guess so let's figure out what's going on with old russell here a disgraced comic is he really disgraced really because i see nothing but support for him claims he feels nourished by baptism all right let's just go ahead and see there's a distinction between these two parallel grifts that are out here. Because at this point in time, you know, hey man, I gotta be consistent. Whenever I see somebody try to slink away from controversy and then wrap themselves in the good word of the Lord, I'm a little bit skeptical. But there's a couple of delineating factors here. Not, somebody here, in the form of Russell Brand, isn't trying to monetize their Christianity. Is simply presenting it as an actual come to Jesus moment that has refreshed their soul, refreshed their life. There's somebody who has an audience, an established audience, that would not be offended, that is not going to be flighty by the fact that he has come forward. As a Christian, like this isn't a grift to try to get any new Christians to hop on board because well, you take a look at his audience and generally speaking, they're just going to be open-minded people so he's not trying to draw in anybody else so they're right there yeah so right there there's a couple of distinctions that i see between the two cases russell brand was yesterday baptized in the Thames as the disgraced comic turns to christianity after his allegations brand says he feels nourished and as though a new resource has been switched on inside of me following his baptism yesterday the former buddhist 48 made no reference about the accusations currently hanging over him well yeah you could make comments about something if there was any substance to them but we i remember going over those I, I think i got a playlist on them you want to refresh yourself on the topic but some people said some things about stuff that happened nearly 20 years ago okay cool what, what, what are you supposed to live in shame of something that you didn't do and announced that last week he's going to be taking the plunge as it is an opportunity to leave the past behind last year the dispatch oh yes a disp er, dispatches documentary on channel 4 exposed allegations yeah just ran a very defamatory piece during the height of his fame as part of an investigation for the Sunday Times and the Times. Okay, it wasn't the BBC, but they were more than happy to run with everything. In October of 2023, Brand faced serious accusations from a series of women who were so emboldened by their claims they didn't even bother to show their own face. Uh, four women made allegations. The comedian has strenuously denied wrongdoing and has, in fact, provided receipts on multiple of those allegations and says he has heard the evidence to refute allegations. He described being baptized as incredibly profound experience and that something occurred in the process of baptism that was incredible and overwhelming telling his followers that he felt changed and transitioned he said now of course even though it's been less than 24 hours in the interim period i've already felt like irritation i've gotten three children i've got a job i've got challenges i still live in the world but i feel as though some new resource within me has been switched on the conversational comedian was retreat oh has retreated to his country countryside da, 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 Oxfordshire bolt hole in recent months after being questioned by the police twice in relation to the allegations since December he has posted a number of videos and pictures on social media in which he discusses his relationship with Christianity okay in his announcement last week Brand said that he Oh, what's been explained to me is an opportunity to die and be reborn, an opportunity to leave the past behind and be reborn in Christ's name. This is something that he's been thinking about for a while and has also been presenting the evidence that has informed his decision. Again, another differentiating factor here. When he referenced the verse in the scripture, adding, like it says in Galatians, that you can live as an enlightened and, awake and awakened person, before saying the prospect of baptism was so inviting and beautiful. He went on to further explain his decision. People are so cynical about the increasing interest in Christianity and a return to God, but to me, it's obvious. As meaning deteriorates in the modern world, as our value systems and institutions crumble, all of us become increasingly aware that there is this eerie... F 
uh, eerily familiar awakening and a beckoning figure we've all known all our lives within us and around us. And for me, it's very exciting. He's taking this on as a more existential journey. Yes, it's a personal journey of himself, but he's also looking at this through the lens of how it can help more than just himself. Again, another differentiating factor. After the claims came to light, Brand appeared on Tucker Carlson's show. I must, I must have missed that one, where he referenced the allegations he faces and ongoing police and investigation several times. Speaking to Carlson's broadcast, Brand said, I reject the allegations in the strongest possible terms. I am aware that I put myself in an extremely vulnerable position and being very, very promiscuous. Attacks like this, accused of what I consider to be the most appalling crimes, is very painful and hurtful. And there are consequences to the foolish way I lived in the past. Brand describes the crimes he's accused of as appalling before adding criticism he faces a deliberate profound attempt to shut down any dissent in an astonishingly aggressive way exactly and of course somebody who's dealing with this stuff if he was going to be retreating to a religion like there's a there's a pretty well documented history of people choosing one certain religion in order to escape political prosecution habibi or to just you know flee to a certain country where you could just go ahead and seek refuge for a very uh, long and indeterminate amount of time but there's again no benefit in wrapping yourself in christianity so this is why i think that um there's at least ooh, a little bit more Sincerity with this conversion. Uh, the force. Oh, I'm sorry. Brand has been questioned by detectives from London's Metropolitan Police over allegations of historical offenses. Right, because they can't get to anything, you know, recent or hell, even within this past decade. Uh, the force said in September it had launched an investigation into a number of allegations of non-recent. So just a bunch of old stuff that nobody could really, you know, back up with any sort of evidence. But apparently Russell has, well, he's got the tapes in all of these places. Yeah, following media reports that women had accused Brand of a string of bad things, Brand has rejected what he's described as very salacious allegations, saying on his social media channels that he has never had non-consensual activities. There have been no charges brought in the UK or anywhere. If we're going to be completely honest, in fact, yeah, there was this a uh, Channel 4 uh, dispatches expose that ran at the time that was just a bunch of uh, black silhouettes making all of these very, as you can see with the trigger warning up at the top, distressing as allegations, a warning that's there. And oh, look at the way that he used to talk. But now, now he's discussing a bunch of very um, controversial anti-establishment talking points. And he's also getting very popular in doing such, reaching levels that he he did also at the same time when he would you know, back comb his hair and be one of the most insufferable people on radio and television like i stated at the time and it does warrant repeating when he was out there doing his absolute worst which i'm sure he was probably doing some absolutely crazy stuff all of it very much consensual because he was one of the biggest names in the world in the mid to late 20 or rather 2000s into the 2010s of course but while his style of comedy might not be your cup of tea he had a lot of support that was out there he was getting big hollywood roles he was selling out stadiums with his tours but nobody was saying anything bad about him at the time when it would have been the most advantageous to drag his name out but only when he started to be a lot more against a certain jab that's out there uh, when he's asking uncomfortable questions about the validity of the election of a certain president when he's delving into more anti-establishment talking points when he's calling out the neoliberal agenda then he starts to catch some flack for some previous activities in the uh, preceding decades yeah it all just seemed a little bit too convenient at least from my perspective and then for people now trying to say that oh he's just trying to hide behind a bible in order to escape responsibility from his acts of the past now he's embracing his radical mega audience you're silly you're absolutely silly back in October and you look even more foolish now. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.